Okay, so they want us to sketch a function. It's one of our toolkit functions. So we're given this function here, the absolute value function. Now I'm going to go ahead from my knowledge of the toolkit functions and graph what that looks like without any shifting. So it's a V shape. Um, I'm going to kind of do a dotted line here. That is not what I'm graphing. That is my reference though, okay? That is f of x. So f of x looks like that toolkit function, that v shape. Okay. Now we want to graph h of x. So this is the one that we're going to graph. And we look at what it says over here. It says you're going to have a shift. Now what kind of shift is that? That's a horizontal shift. And it's going to shift to the left. So it's going to shift left one unit. Now, if that's tricky for you to remember, you can think of it as f of x minus a negative 1, and then it's easier to see that it's going to go negative. It's going to go to the left. Okay? Then we also have this minus 3 out here. What kind of shift is that? That's a vertical shift. So the 1 gives me a horizontal shift, but the th minus 3, that's a vertical shift. Okay, and so it's also going to shift down, because it's a minus 3, it's going to shift down 3 units. That's supposed to say down. Okay, down 3 units. Okay, so you look at the function that they give you that you're trying to graph, and you determine, okay, what is the, is there a vertical shift? Is there a horizontal shift? How much? Which direction? Okay, now what you can do then is you can just take each point from the original graph and move them left one, down three. So a lot of times I like to start with the origin and I'm going to go left one and down three. And then all those points are going to do that. They're all going to just shift left one and down three. That looks like down two. Should be down. Oh, because I, because I got to move it left. Okay. Okay, and so that's what it looks like. Um, you can draw it a little bit better than I can, but, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. The whole graph, it's not changing the shape. It's just taking all the points and moving each one of those points to the left one and down three. The book does it in two steps. I prefer to just do it in one, but, you know, I'll leave that up to you.